What's happening guys? We are back at it with another video. And yes, it is about the truck, a two wheel drive truck. Can it pull the boat? And you know, the, the answer is yes, but there's a bunch of things that you actually need to consider before you go ahead and purchase that boat or start pulling a boat with a two wheel drive truck. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing that you wanna consider, especially if you don't have a boat and you're trying to purchase a boat and you only have a two wheel drive truck, is actually the size of the boat. Obviously, the bigger the boat is, the heavier it's going to be, and the more difficult it's going to be for your truck to pull that boat up and down that slip. So, you know, definitely consider the length. I have a Z18, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm here more so speaking about bass boats, but, you know, if you're out there trying to get a pontoon boat or a wakeboarding boat or just something a little bit bigger, or actually a lot bigger, you know, you may want to reconsider a, a two-wheel drive truck to convert over to a four-wheel drive truck just because you you want that extra power you want that extra grip because it's just so heavy but this boat right here the z18 i think uh fully loaded on average it's about like 3200 pounds so i have a, a heavier motor usually i think they come with a 150 i got the 175 so it's a little bit heavier but like i said i got it fully packed right now and uh you know, so the one thing that you want to consider is the size of the boat. Obviously, the, the lighter the boat is, the, the better your two-wheel drive truck is going to pull that, that boat. Okay, the second thing is you need to make sure that you have a very good all-terrain tire. If you just have regular driving tires, this is probably not going to work. You definitely need to, uh, you know, go into the bank, get you some money, and upgrade your tires to some all-terrain tires i actually have the ko2s they are amazing they're, they are great for you know long lasting they're they're great for uh grip they got very good grip power um i think it's actually got a really really good slip uh, or anti-slip rating so i went with the ko2 make sure you do your research on that before you do that uh before you make a huge purchase like that um but you know spending a thousand dollars on tires is way better than trading your truck in and spending you know an extra 40 grand on a truck so then uh, the second thing that you want to consider is definitely getting new tires that have very very good grip all right so the third most important thing or just an important thing in general is the boat ramp all right when you purchase a boat go and, and you know what lake you're going to be fishing go around and try to find the best boat ramps possible and what to consider on a boat ramp is the slope, how long it is, um, if it has really good grip for traction. So this right here, this is, I came to this boat ramp and as you can see, this boat ramp has tons of extra grip. All right, tons of grip. It's got uh, gravel, it's got grooves cut into it. So, you know, with those all-terrain tires that I have, I absolutely know that I could pull this, that boat up and down this boat ramp with no problem with two-wheel drive. Now, I've been fishing out of that um, or with that truck for a year now and I have not had a problem so with boat ramps you want to uh, you know understand the slope all right obviously the steeper the boat ramp is the more difficult it's going to be for your truck to pull that out and then we also need to consider weather all right so weather could play a huge factor here in Alabama right now it's about 45 degrees and I think next week it's going to be in the 20 so uh, this boat ramp could potentially turn into ice, you know, especially down here where your, your back tires usually need to grip. Now, if it was slick and it was flat, you do not want to use this boat ramp because you have the potential to slide back down in the water or just stay here to where somebody's going to need to assist you. So make sure you go out ahead of time and check your boat ramps to make sure that it has some sort of grip. Um, if, if you're going to fish when it's super, super cold and you know the sun's going to be poking out and you got two wheel drive truck and you're a little nervous about it. Maybe wait till the sun comes out and it gets a little bit warmer to where, you know, it's not as icy or it's not as slippery. Um, a couple other key things, too. If you're out here by yourself, let somebody know where you are. Maybe bring a friend, have somebody watch. Uh, just just be very, very careful when you're out here using two-wheel drive. Now, pulling and hauling the boat, and you'll pull that boat all the way across country with two-wheel drive. You know, I mean, unless you're riding through some snow and stuff like that. But even then, that that Tundra, that, that V8, it's got so much power. Um... You know, back with the power as well. You know, some people, I, I see them sliding all the time and their tires are spinning 100 miles an hour to try to get that boat out. But if you actually just take your time and I actually, what I do, I actually hold the brake in. 
and I slowly push the, the gas. And as I slowly push the gas, I actually ease off of the brake to gradually pull me up out of the water. If you're, you know, swapping your foot real quick off the brake and slamming it on the, uh, the gas pedal, you're probably gonna be sliding and doing a lot of sliding at that. So just take some of these things into consideration. So that to, to answer the, uh, um, the thumbnail, can this do that? Can a two wheel drive truck haul your boat up and down these boat ramps or across the country? Guys, it can. I've been doing it for a year. I haven't had any problems. And like I said before, I've been up and down uh, multiple, multiple different boat ramps and had no issues. So guys, if you have a two wheel drive truck and you're contemplating on buying a boat, just take a couple of these things into factor or into consideration and uh, get out there on the water. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we just finished the day up. My truck is the only truck left in the, the parking lot, which is always cool. But uh, we were talking about two wheel drive. We're gonna load the boat up on the trailer and we're gonna pull it out. Another thing too, uh, the, the boat ramp is super wet right now and it's kind of cold. It's not icy, but it's, it's all wet. And I'll show you exactly how a two wheel drive will pull that right up out of there with no problem. So there you have it guys, two wheel drive. Got it up and easy. Don't forget, good tires that have good grip, a great uh, slip or anti-slip rating, uh, and a really good boat ramp will help out tremendously. But guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see upcoming videos, go ahead and subscribe. But until then, see you next time. Peace.